Mindlet Pro or OptiMind? Which nootropic supplement is better? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna be comparing MindLepro, one of my favorite nootropic supplements, to OptiMind, which, as you can see, sadly, I don't have anymore. I've tried it weeks or months ago, and um, I don't have it here for good. Now, in this short video, we're gonna look at the similarities among these two nootropic supplements. We're gonna look at the differences, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you which one I prefer. So if you're ready, let's begin. First thing first, when I started taking and testing nootropics, that was back in 2015 and then 2016, OptiMind and MindlePro were one of the first nootropic supplements that I've ever tested. Alpha Brain was there as well and some others, but uh, I do remember buying OptiMind and MindlePro probably at the same time. And back then, these two nootropic supplements were very popular uh, among people, among those uh, early adopters, basically. Uh, but sadly, you know, the situation today is quite different. So what happened in the past years is that Mindly Pro has keep on updating their formula, uh, has been growing their brand, whereas um, Optimind, on the other hand, you know, they stayed at the same level as they were years before. So they didn't change their formula, they didn't optimize it, they didn't really do much here. Um, and this is one of the most important things you should know before we look at the similarities and then continue with the differences. Now, when it comes to the similarities, first thing is that both nootropic supplements were developed to help you improve your cognitive performance. Mindly Pro has been developed to help you improve focus, memory, attention, uh, and overall productivity. And the same thing is true for Optimind, no doubt about that. The second similarity I found is that both nootropic supplements um, were kind of a, a well-researched and the team did a lot of work behind both brands. There is no doubt about it because if you look at the ingredients, you can see pretty much, or at least some of them are pretty much the same. So same nootropic compounds like phosphatidylserine, like bacopa monere, like vitamin B12, and some amino acids are the same as well. So if you consider these two um, similarities, you, you should say, you know, both nootropic supplements are pretty much the same, right? So they should be, they should kind of provide the same benefit, but that's sadly not true. Now let's look at the differences to see why this happens. So first of all, yes, there are a few similar nootropics in both supplements, but if you dig more uh, into details, if you look at the details about nootropic supplements, then you can see that Optimite is severely underdosed. I mean, there is no doubt about it. And I think Optimind was never a really good or a really great nootropic supplement, whereas MindPro has been always on top from the very beginning. Now, I'm not saying they're still the best nootropic supplement on the market right now, but compared to Optimind, they're much, or this is much, much better product. No doubt about that. The second important difference is that Optimind um, has stopped optimizing and developing their formula. I think that was already back in 2015 or 16. I think nothing changed in the past years. I mean, the formula is still pretty much the same. Um, and that's really bad because with so much more research, so much more know-how, we know which nootropic uh, compounds are really effective, which nootropic compounds we want to see in every nootropic stack. And if they're not in, that's a big issue in my opinion. So that's another important difference. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Use a hashtag AskYourInception and I will weekly answer some of the most interesting questions that I will receive. Another difference is pricing. Now, it is true that one bottle of MyLepro is more expensive compared to one bottle of Optimine. But if you look at the price per serving, and this is the important price, then you would see that uh, Mindly Pro is cheaper. It costs around two dollars fifteen cents, and whereas Optimine costs around two dollars seventy cents. So this is, you know, this it's a sixty cents difference. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's an important difference. We or I want to point out here. And last but not least, the most important difference is the performance. I mean, if you look at the long-term performance, if you look at the safety, if you look at the effectiveness, Mindly Pro is millions kilometers ahead of Optimine. Now, I don't wanna say Optimine is a terrible nootropic stack, it isn't, but if you just compare the two, you will see that the ingredients in Mindly Pro are very well dosed, not optimally, but very well dosed. Um, they provide the benefits, especially the long-term benefits. They, they can 
it definitely improved your cognitive performance. Whereas with Optimind, I didn't, I didn't feel any benefits. I didn't see any reason why this entropic stack could work, you know? Um, and I've been taking it for quite some time. And if you look at the reviews of people, I mean, you will see that exactly, exactly the same thing. So you'll see people saying, uh, Optimind doesn't work. I don't feel any benefits. Nothing really happens. Whereas with Mindlab Pro, I mean, kind of the same things happen. So people feel a bit more focused, a bit more alert, but most importantly, after taking Mindlab Pro for several weeks, you really get the benefits. So, you know, it's really Mindlab Pro. It seems a much better nootropic supplement. So to make a verdict here, um, I think at the beginning in 2015 or 2016, Optimind and Mindlab Pro were both very similar nootropic supplements, but Mindlab Pro was updated constantly, um, the formula improved, the dosages improved, the ingredients changed, um, and this is the reason I believe Mindlab Pro stayed still in the top and it is much better nootropic supplement compared to Optimind. I know what happened with Optimind, I don't know what happened with the team behind it, but obviously something went wrong and um yeah you know that's why the product stayed at the level as it currently is or as it was at the very beginning now if you want to read more about mindlab pro or if you want to already check the link below if you have any questions guys don't hesitate to contact me don't forget to follow your inception on facebook and instagram and i hope to see you soon oh and don't forget subscribing to this channel see you soon guys take care